The President's law as it relates to health care is harming not only the health of the American people, but the health of our economy. As a physician, I can tell you that my physician colleagues uh, back home uh, have said that this is destructive of their ability to care for patients. I also believe that, that uh, folks back home in very personal stories are telling us the consequences of this bill. Small businesses who have 40 to 45 employees and, and would want to hire more say, I can't do that now because if I go over 50, then I, uh, then I get into that magic number where the federal government comes and forces me to provide health coverage that they want. Not that my employees want, but that, that they want. As my former colleagues uh, in, in my district are saying, this is the final straw. They're not going to be able to care for their patients. They're not, they're not going to be able to hire the kind of individuals in their office that provide the clinical care, not the clerical care, but the clinical care. And as the people's representatives, it's important for us to act when the people say that they would like something addressed. So what we believe we need to do is to provide that contrast, that positive, upbeat contrast for the American people to say, hey, those are the folks that are fighting for us in Washington for patient-centered health care, which means patients and families and doctors making medical decisions, not Washington.